It's all about connectivity at the 2015 International CES, and the Internet of Things is making it possible to connect just about everything to the Internet. We're here at CES Tech West to witness how this technology is making a huge splash across the show floor. Um, I really think it's going to be towards creating a responsive home uh, that is able to understand what's going on. You know, there are 20 billion appliances uh, that are going to be connected all together. So it's a great way, if you think about uh, an Internet of Things, you want smart data so that you get smart data, smart data in, smart data out, and to um, get a, a smart Internet of Things. More than 900 exhibitors are here this week showcasing the Internet of Things. It encompasses everything from smart home security systems, connected refrigerators, cars, and more. Yeah, we're stacked lighting, and what we brought to, the, to CES is ALBA, the world's first responsive light bulb that has embedded light and occupancy sensors. So you, while we have an app, you don't have to touch the app, and it understands how much natural light is in the room and whether people are even in the room and whether it should be on or not. So we make it far, far simpler than all the other connected light bulbs. So we have a universal remote that connects you to all of the appliances in your home for home automation, digital media, Internet of Things, home security, everything. Gartner Technology forecasts predict the Internet of Things will grow to 25 billion units sold by 2020, nearly a 30-fold increase from 2009. We are a typical platform for Internet of Things that enable manufacturers to be connected. We convert it into, into one mobile app, meaning that the user now has this uh, amazing experience to have only one app to interact with all of, their, uh, their, uh, of these devices. And the Internet of Things is you can be everywhere, anywhere, and you can just talk. It doesn't care about the location, of course. One key show floor area highlighting the Internet of Things at CES this year is the Smart Home Marketplace, which showcases a smarter, more efficient home accelerated by smartphones and tablets interacting with a range of devices. We brought a Lowe's Iris system. Basically, it's a smart home for the do-it-yourselfer. What we're really trying to do is just take it beyond what most people think about with smart homes today even, right? So it goes beyond contact sensors and motion sensors and thermostats. We brought irrigation controls, garage door controllers, uh, whole home water shutoff valve. So just the, the devices that customers shop and, and, and think about for Lowe's today, we're now bringing connected and connecting them all through one simple app. Make it easy, simple, and affordable for consumers. The sensors marketplace also helps to tell the Internet of Things story at CES. This area Area highlights gesture and motion recognition technology that demonstrate how sensors are changing the technology experience and the world around us. Then we also have DMDI. So they're doing a really cool uh, chemical sensor. What I thought was really neat is they can, it's, uh, it's going to be on your smartphone where it can determine if you have had a little bit too much to drink on your chemical sensor. So um, it's just an example of what the technology will be on wearable devices and smartphones. The Internet of Things is an important trend helping to move connectivity forward. From CES Tech West and for CES TV, I'm Krista Solano.